Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanalee Zet Dawn. And the last exhibition match for today is going to be RAR versus Hellwar on. Oh, I think it's Hellwar. Might be Hellwar. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's Hellwar. They're French, I think. I'm bad. Okay, it is French. I'm bad with tricolors, so I had to look it up. But yeah, it was French. Okay, so yeah, it's Hellwar. Not Hellvor. Most likely. And let's just let's just go. Let's see what happens. Clokybot for Hellwar and Rar going for Clokybot as well, because Clokybot on this map, that's the factory you go for. That or spiders. This is an old map. We haven't seen this in a long time. It's pretty simple, honestly. I mean basically you just you build your main base and then usually stretch over either to the north or to the west. Or I guess south or east for the northwest player. And then you just go. It's pretty much radially symmetric. There isn't a huge difference in expanding over to the north or to the south versus to the east or the west. There's a bit of a difference, and usually the south player will prefer expanding west and the north will prefer expanding east to an extent, but you see both pretty evenly. Hell, we're going for some early attack, though, and Rar does not have anything for defenses. Okay, they're getting a Lotus. Emergency Lotus, but they do have it. Hellwar does have earlier defenses, though. And they have an early tick, too. Very concerned about Rar coming in quickly and attacking. Rar, however, more concerned about Hellwar expanding over to the northeast. And not... Oh, is that a Gremlin Scout? That is a Gremlin Scout. Hellwar going for the old-school Gremlin Scout tricks. Nice. And this, I think, won't decloak, too. So I'm pretty sure it will be able to get back here and basically map hack for Hellwar. That is good. You don't see that enough. It's I keep saying it's one of those things where the meta flips back and forth. Sometimes you get the sometimes you get gremlins, sometimes you don't. It looks like Scythe is gonna follow, so Hellwar going for super cloaky. Ah, but the gremlin decloaked. Oof. I thought hope I thought maybe it would be out of the way, but nope. Just close enough to the solar collector that it did decloak. It's just one of those things that I am kind of annoyed by. I don't think. Does it show the decloak radius? Oh, it does. Okay, I think it's the blue radius. I think? I forgot to look at that first. But yeah, size is pretty small. Although, I'm not totally sure. Maybe that's just... No, the attack range is... No, actually, the attack range is not... Okay, I guess they'd have an attack range, because they are... Even though they're melee, they technically have a range. It's just really small. Ah, oh, that's that kind of sucks though, because I mean, Gremlin Scout like that—that's something that is on this map not the most powerful, but something that comes up from time to time. You get you see it, and then after a while, people learn to counter it, and then you don't see it, and then people forget about it, and then you do it again because people have forgotten about it, and it's pretty cool. So I like seeing it. It's good to know when it's back up, but I think it's not quite in vogue again. I think people aren't really using it as much as they could get away with it. But also, Clokybot hasn't been super popular recently. Shieldbot's really taken over. Clokybot got a bit of a buff. Like, warrior buffs helped out, so I think Clokybot's getting played a bit more again. But it usually takes a month or two after buffs or anything for a factory to get back to being played if it was played before and stopped being played. So, Hellwar... Okay, everyone's going for the south side. Both Hellwar and Rar going for the south side. Rar being hyper-aggressive, doing their standard thing, upgraded commander with... Oh, what do they have? Heat Ray and Armor. So the upgraded commander with the warrior support. Hellwar sides coming in to deal with this, and nothing in the main base. One warrior just to make sure that Glaze cannot come in for free. Oh, nice tick timing. Although the sides, eh, well, dealing a bit of damage, but still, that was really nice tick. Giving the sides nice opening. The sides won't be able to deal with the commander. That's not going to happen. The, the Heat Ray is too much. It'll help the Glaze, but the Glaze are also going to die. Like, there's no way that commander's going to go down that easily. But still, it has no support. More sides coming in, though. Yeah, I don't know. What, what do these... Hmm. Labels would be nice, honestly. I think green is build range, blue is decloak radius, and red is... I don't know what red is. Red's usually attack range, but I don't know. In this case, it doesn't seem to be a thing. Labels would be nice here. Maybe we should have labels on those just so we know what they are, because there's a lot of circles. I don't know what they do. I just, I'm pretty sure the red one's attack range, or maximum attack range. Oh, jam. green is jammer range? 
I guess, but there's no jammer here. Oh, but that, that ticks so close. Not quite enough, though. If Hellwar gets rid of Rar's commander, though, I think Rar might start building up just to deal with that. I think. I'm not sure. Red is... Oh, red is jammer. I thought red on jammer was the thing that showed up if it was cloaked. It just had a red circle. Or used to, anyway. Seriously, the radar jammer is that large? Wow. But yeah, green's build range, blue is decloak range. We need labels on these circles because I don't know what they mean. Because in this case, red means attack range. Whereas in this case, red means jammer range. So I don't know. Barar have a bit of back and forth here. They have a pretty strong economy. And their commander... Is it at the point of having... It doesn't have... It has auto repair, but not much. I don't know. Actually, plus 25 per second. That is a fair amount. Hellward does not have the force to deal with it. And it's like, Napalm Rocket on top of Heat Ray. Yeah, I think this is going to be really hard to get through. What's well, level 4 now? Speed on top of everything else. On top of now, like what, 50 auto repair? 45 per second auto repair. Yeah, these glaives... It's going to take... Okay, DPS. Okay, one glaive will get through... Oh, half of the damage is going to get through the auto repair. But that's enough. But yeah, that's... Yeah, I didn't even really looked at that. These need labels. Anyway. So at this point, Spectre coming up as the emergency anti-heavy. The Glaives aren't really able to do much. Rar with their own support Glaives, because Rar will do that. I mean, it's not they're not stupid. They know how to play. They just like to play with commanders, which is a bit risky, but Rar's been doing it enough, they know how. And Hellwar able to at least win the Glaive fight. But more glaives are going to be coming in, and the commander support is still causing a large amount of problems there. Spectre is a few seconds away from being done, but the problem is Rar's commander with the 45 and well, 45 regen per second. When you consider that, I think there's a 20 second, no, oh, 17 second reload time. Yeah, the Spectre's not actually going to do anything. Like by the time the Spectre gets to shoot again, the co Rar's commander will have healed up. So this is game. Rar's commander managed to win. If that tick had gotten close enough, I think it might have had a chance. Like, the one that hit it, like, kind of had a glancing blow on it, there might have been a chance. But even then, I don't know. I think the tick wouldn't have been enough. And it, no, it actually looks like... Is it not regen in time? That's... Oh, it's 900 health of regen. No, okay. So, yeah, the Spectre actually does do about 600 damage in total. Not to mention when the factory exploded. But at this point, there's no hope. Hell, we're trying to respond in kind, but they do not have the economy. I mean, good micro there. It's not... It's pretty impressive. But honestly, if there were two Spectres, that'd be a different story. The commander would be pretty close to dead. But there's only one. And Glaives are coming in. Rar is continuing to produce forces. There is no way out of this. I'm impressed by Hellwar's tenacity, but... I don't think there's any way they can really get out of this. Yeah, okay. Th now. Now it's done. It's over. Actually, it's not even just over. There's no resign option. It's just done. Rar actually managed to annihilate. Close. Kind of close. I mean, fighting Rar, you have to always bear in, bear in mind that there is probably going to be a commander. What was the commander's final thing? So, 50 auto repair, I think. 55 auto repair. Plus extra armor. Plus more speed. How fast were they? Uh, 44 elements per second. That's not super fast. I think that's... Oh, okay, that's not Glaive fast. I think that's, like, Warrior fast. Yeah, a little bit slower than Warriors. But yeah, that was that. Was that. Napalm Warhead on the rocket launcher. You don't see that very often. That's one of the cool things. That's one of the things I really like about the Dynamic Comm system. So much better than the old system. Because the Dynamic Commander system means that there's actually a lot of motivation to try out things that work situationally that this one game... Like, it would work in this one game... But it wouldn't work most of the time. But you don't have to basically guess at the start of the game that you need that weapon. You just, when you need it, oh, hey, I need this weapon. You go for it. I really like that. But anyway, that was that. Rar takes another victim, I guess, or wins another game with a commander. Because that's how Rar does. Yeah, that is going to be it for me tonight. I hope you enjoyed that. And I guess there's no other real announcements or anything. So, 
yeah, everything's basically back to normal. Saturday casts for at least the next few weeks. Possibly longer, I don't know. But yeah, so Saturday casts are still going to be normal. The standard schedule is kind of back to the standard schedule. And that's that's about it. So hope you enjoyed that and have a good night, everyone.